La play ya ka booking nak benta ka kali tata Nexon. Wan ka Frank Motors Lightco, la ni phone hau number harum man pe khambanya. Ka sarkar jila kala manjur ya ka scheme ki nong de madan ka Mikalia Street Vendors Protection of Livelihood and Regulation of Street Vending Scheme R Hajar R Fly da ka babusu ya ki katu kadni ki kendon ban khen ba ki dei ki nong de madan. Ka jingilang ka kenhun menteri mata rasmi kala rai ba kan ithu ya ki nong de madan kat kum ka an ki ba pendep ya ki kendon bat kini ki kendon ki long ba ki dei ban don ka epic dei ban long ki nong song song jong ka bigalia om dunai ka laisnem bat ki bla song di jing di hamadan la hinru bna nalor kini ki dei ban yo ya ka laisen na ka municipal lani ka district council ha ki jaka ki ba ha kat kum ka jing pet ki jong ki Ya kani la pentip dau nong aitin ka sorkaru ba polling do mandaga singi hadien balawai ka jingalang jong ka kunhun mentri ba pol rai thu ba yakini ki kendon la menjur hadien balayo ya ka jing ai jing mot na ki kunhun seng bhalang ki dor bar snong ka ke chdc bat kumjo na ki seng ki nong de madan pulong ba ka sorkar kan pelong ya ka jing yet binya ya ki nong de madan bat kin hap ban apply ya ka form kom ba la pengkre na ka sorkar ban i thu kom ki nong de madan Asorkar kala pengkreru ban bu ya ki jaka nagam tagi nong di madan bat ban pendaru ya ki jaka bam dei ban chong di madan kenang makan wanra ya ki jingkhut ban like naga jingkhapnya on the first matter which is uh, the street vendors uh, as you are aware that there is a central act uh, adopted uh, passed in 2014 uh, called the street vendors protection of livelihood and regulation of street vending act of 2014 under which rules were framed by the state government in 2022 now as uh, a part of the process of the framing of these rules uh, a scheme was conceived um, known as the draft mayla street vendors scheme 2023 and today this draft was approved by the cabinet with a uh, few observations and uh, amendments uh, basically the intention of the government is that uh, we strike a balance between the need of providing livelihood to street vendors and the need to also ensure that uh, other equally important issues like law and order, decongestion, and uh, safety to pedestrians, and uh, the fact that, um, as you re we observed in the recent fire incident, how uh, street uh, hawkers were a uh, major cause of the uh, delay in the intervention by the fire services in uh, containing the uh, inferno at uh, Kandaila. So today, uh, this, uh, the scheme was approved and the silent features of this uh, scheme I can share with you. But uh, broadly, it speaks of, uh, of town vending committees um, who will be uh, eligible to be uh, identified as legal workers. Uh, there are a set of criteria really laid down. For instance, the person has to be uh, has to possess an epic issued by the Election Commission of India plus a certificate of at least six years, three years, three years residence in Meghalaya. The vendor should have been vending in a particular spot for a minimum of six months. And three, he possesses a valid trade license in areas that are outside of the three normal areas under the control of the Shillong Municipal Board. Uh, we have also received uh, 
a number of uh, suggestions from various stakeholders, including the KHADC, KSU, Sanjok, Kirangba Shidong, Hawkers Associations, and uh, today, uh, after very detailed discussions, we have been able to finalize this scheme. And uh, what we will now do next is to immediately take up uh, an inventorization. Uh, uh, we will start with the survey of the street vendors and process the applications of these vendors based on the broad framework which I have spelled out. <clears throat> then uh, we will also uh, be taking up this special planning uh, in order to decide which are vending and which are no vending zones. And uh, the government would also strive to provide dedicated vending zones and market spaces to the street vendors. So uh, broadly, this is what the scheme is as conceived uh, earlier and as approved by the cabinet today. This will be uh, based on the cabinet decision today. We will notify uh, the scheme and also uh, notify uh, the uh, areas which we will be covering uh, immediately. So it should take about a couple of months. The task before us is to decide on which are the vending and which are the no vending zones. And obviously, uh, footpaths will not be allowed to be declared as vending zones. No, based on the master plan. Yeah, based on this master plan and the identification of zones uh, will be uh, based on certain criteria. Uh, for instance, we will make sure that uh, these zones will not impede the movement of traffic, the movement of pedestrians, uh, will not cause law and other issues. Those are factors that will be taken into account. Uh, we are at the moment talking about open spaces. But when you talk about uh, the, uh, the matter that you brought up, this relates to uh, markets. Uh, we have uh, a plan in mind to also construct hawkers markets. As and when that is done, we will inform. There's no legal, there's no illegal as of now because the, the scheme has not been in place. No, but uh, the figure, the <coughs> number. How many are all? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, roughly maybe uh, in not only in municipal area, but outside municipal area, maybe. Is it also outside municipal area you're talking about? All of You don't have that, but more or less uh, 3,000 will be there. But there are hawkers who have already plus. registered themselves with the office of SMB. What will happen to them? No, once this, see, this is a specific scheme that only today received the approval of the cabinet. So this scheme will uh, ensure that uh, yeah, the registration process is legally uh, legal now. Because this scheme is part of a central act and we are framing the rules and the scheme in accordance with that central act. Once an area is declared as a vending zone, it will apply to everybody and likewise a no vending zone. Okay. Based on the survey uh, and the documentation uh, process, which I have spelled out that they have to possess, for instance, an EPIC uh, that they are voters of the state of Meghalaya and also that they have stayed in Meghalaya for the last, at least the last three years and uh, that they have been trading or vending in a particular place for a minimum of six months and also that they possess a trade license based uh, wherever the Trading by non tribals Act is applicable. Okay, based on their having met these conditions, we will then separate, you know, the legal from the illegal and only legal authorized registered vendors will be given spaces in the vending zones. You see, as I mentioned earlier, 
under this central uh, act okay the st state had only adopted the act in 2022 right so that was just last year and today the government uh, if you talk of government this government is barely seven months old so now that we are seized of the enormity of the problem we are determined to as i said have a fine balancing between somebody's need for livelihood and others need for safety and free movement and uh, not causing inconvenience to pedestrians or motorists which is why this scheme has been envisaged and approved by the cabinet today the requirement for a trade license would would uh, mean uh, that it is applicable in areas outside the control of the uh, municipal boards as of today this is an unregulated trade right where you don't even know uh, the exact number of persons involved in that trade whether we would know whether that person who avails a license would today sit in like mukra and tomorrow shift to polo so how do you regulate unless you have this scheme in mind in place so but which is why today we have approved this scheme in order to be able to regulate vending and it is only when we do that that any authority can you know issue licenses and uh, for instance there is a role for the darbar shnongs okay that uh, they shall also have to furnish a certificate from the respective darbar shnongs now unless you have a scheme in place how does the darbar uh, issue a, a certificate for somebody who keeps moving from one locality to the other these fuckers based on certain parameters and once they fulfill the criteria as defined by those parameters we will then have a list and this list will be uh, put up before the vending committees the town vending committees which uh, will then approve the list accordingly okay.